we're coming up on the Antler Hill Village and Winery. So this is called the Creamery, bakery and ice cream. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, it smells good in here. Yeah. S'mores. Sandwich owners at the registry. There's the different sandwiches. <laughs> Wine and beer. They have some sodas. They have apple turnovers. Maple bread. Just give me one of those berry tarts, please. Do you want that warmed up? Yes, please. Oh, look at the gingerbread boys. There's only outdoor seating here, though. Order inside and then come outside to eat. So, over at the creamery, breakery, and ice cream, we got Diet Coke and regular Coke. Then Stan, show them the cookies we got. Sorry, buddy, you're gonna be gone before too long. <laughs> the giant chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's try a bite. Should I eat his head first? Sure. Head first. Mm. Pretty gingerbready. <laughs> yes, very good. Take a bite of his head. We need the other side of his head. Yeah. His other eye. good. It's pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Soft. It's not real hard. No, it's not. It's a soft gingerbread. It's good. That is big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now I get to try it. It's crispy on the outside, but it's soft in the middle. It's very good. It tastes like there's real butter, real chocolate chips in it. g -Paw's going to check out the seating, the Cedric's Garden for the tavern. It's like there's a girl with a ball wanting to play fetch. It says Cornelia and Cedric. August 2010. But the tavern is called Cedric's Tavern. So we'll see if we can get like at least some video of it. George and Edith Vanderbilt love pets with many dogs living in style and built more house over the years including St. Bernard's and Wolfhounds. The most beloved dog was Cedric. So this is the Cedric's Tavern. They have one, two, three, four TV showing sports. And then seating here. And then seating over on this side. And then they have seating outside. So lots of seating. And you do need reservations to eat here. So that was Cedric's Tavern. Serving lunch Tuesday through Sunday, dinner Tuesday through Sunday, and Friday, Saturday. Closed on Monday. So this is a food truck. Smokehouse. You can get sandwiches and platters served with hush puppies. And the sides are coleslaw and mac and cheese. Ooh, pulled pork barbecue. Yum. And we're going to find out how late they're here. How late do you guys serve this evening? Eight o'clock tonight, man. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so they're open until eight o'clock. What did you find, Stan? Popcorn. And where did you find that? Not in this store. Where'd you get it? There was a popcorn cart. Yeah, this was over by Santa. And then we stopped here to get our sodas. Got a Diet Coke, you got a regular Coke. And then we're gonna share a caramel truffle ice cream. And that supposedly is only one dip. Good grief. So what do you think about the popcorn? It's good popcorn. Snack review. This popcorn is excellent. One out of 10, what would you rate it? Well, I'll give it a nine. Is there butter on it? Is it salted? Salted, a little bit of butter. And we'll see what the ice cream tastes like. Mmm, that is yummy ice cream. There's like caramel and then chocolate truffle in it. If you can see what it looks like. Yum. This is the Village Hotel on Biltmore Estate. And it's right next to the Antler Hill Village over there. Behind it is the winery. So it's in a really good location. It houses the Village Social Restaurant and the Village Cafe. And this is the lobby of the Village Hotel. And right off of the lobby is the Village Cafe. They serve breakfast and lunch. 
You can get sandwiches and salads. Get some specialty drinks here. And they also have flatbread pizza and some quick stuff to grab over there. Okay, Stan, where are we eating lunch at today? At the Village Social. It's part of the Village Hotel. Okay, cool. So far we just have drinks waiting on our food. But that's okay, we have a lot of time to kill. So I'm gonna kind of give you a tour of what the restaurant looks like. They have a, it's like a sport, I guess like a sports bar, because they have a couple TVs up here where they're watching football. They have it decorated for Christmas, really pretty. I love their decorations. Like wooden stars and wooden snowflakes. Kind of zoom in so you can see what they look like. Real country, craft style. And then I'll take you back here and show you what their tree looks like. So this is a restaurant. And there's like a tree made out of twigs. These are some photographs of people that used to work here. Some of the family of the people that worked here, which is kind of cool. This is like the drawings of the uh, poultry yard. The sheep in this photo are most likely the flock that Edith Vanderbilt pastured during the summer months near Buck Spring Lodge. Oh, this is cool. They've even saved a pitchfork and a shovel. And this is an aerial view of the Biltmore's main dairy barn and creamery. It says this view is looking north over the creamery and the bottle facilities in the foreground, the main dairy complex. Now the winery is center and the horse barn and stables with the manager's cottages on the left. And the additional farm cottages for employees constructed in the early 40s are visible top center and downtown Asheville is in the distance. And then there's the tree. It's still got the wooden stars on it. And then there's the wooden snowflake that's like hid inside the tree. And it's like a snow flock tree. I would love to have a snow flock tree someday. And then I'm gonna take you back and show you where the fireplace is. I don't think they have the fireplace lit today. I don't know if it's wood or gas. Got a really pretty Christmas wreath right there. And then the tree is made out of the, the um, twigs. And then there's another Christmas wreath right there. And then there's couches just to relax. No one's using them right now. These are the restrooms over here. And there's another family picture. I love this one. Look at this guy. And the two women look like they been having their picture taken. And I like the way this lady has her hand resting on her either husband or boyfriend's shoulder. So, pretty cool picture. There's the fireplace from a distance really pretty stone fireplace leather couches and see what the food looks like wow look at the size of that bun yeah this is stan's lunch it's a classic cheeseburger it's got uh, and you're like a cheeseburger connoisseur aren't you i'd like, say so <laughs> yeah and it said house made barbecue chips yeah. so you have to let me know how spicy those are Okay, and then good. I got the pumpkin penne pasta with chicken. So I'm excited to try that too. And you ordered it, how, what, did you order it well done or just medium well? Medium well. Ah. It's really good. So can you show me the burger and see how much it's done? That looks perfect. Okay. The chips are really good too. Burger and the chips are great. Are they barely, barely, very spicy, or just a little bit of barbecue sauce um, on them? Just a little bit of barbecue. What is yours? Pumpkin penne pasta with um, added chicken, and you could have either salmon, chicken, shrimp. Oh, the. Uh, Seems like there was one more thing, but I don't remember. Yeah, looks like a good serving. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it the chicken to bite size. 
And the chicken looks, if you zoom in, looks like it's got like some herbs or spices on it where it's a little bit, ooh, but it falls apart. Like you wouldn't hardly even need the, the knife to cut it. So now let's see. Taste of pumpkin. Very good. Very strong pumpkin taste, or not really. No. Okay, it looks good. I would give it a nine out of ten. And this is what they do for your wedding anniversary is there's like two chocolate truffles right there, and with some mixed berry fruits. And then they even write in chocolate happy anniversary. Love you, honey. Love you too. Okay, you get the first bite. Let me know what you think. Well, I'll take one of them. Are oh, you going to try the truffle first? So is it like white chocolate inside? Mm. Or sweet cream? Or what would you call it? The cream. Yeah. But I like it. It's very good. It's good chocolate. Very good. It's like a dark chocolate. And it's cream on the inside. Yeah, it's good. The Bistro Restaurant is also located at Antler Hill Village. It's next to the winery, just opposite the winery gift shop exit. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to go in. They were very busy that day and didn't have any reservations available, and it was a very crowded restaurant. The Bistro features wood-fired pizzas, handmade pasta, hand-cut steaks, and chops, and it's normally open for lunch and dinner.